What's going on, family? Peace, love, and happiness. Scott Vlad here. Welcome to my channel. We're rocking this awesome hat right now. It's cool. I've worn it in a while because, uh, well, here out in Canada, it's windy and it's winter and it's getting spring vibe ish type soon, but the wind always blows it off and I don't want to go chasing the hat down the road every time I go outside. So, I'm rocking it now inside though. It's pretty dope though. I love this hat. But how are you guys? How's everybody doing? I'm uh, sending you all that phenomenal positive energy. So take it all, right? Um, today I want to talk about the ebb and the flow of life, like the ups and the downs, the good and the bads, um, as well as like alchemy and magic and turning like taking the best, making the best out of the situations, whether it be a good or bad experience, whether you are in that up, forward motion, positive, loving, vibrational state, or if you're not in one, you're in more of like a depressing, sad, healing almost type of state, right? Like it's always good to heal, but when you're in certain uh, emotions, when you're in certain vibrations, there's different lessons that are there to be learned. There's different obstacles that need to be overcome in order for you to grow in certain areas, right? As long as you keep that forward motion and not like be so stagnant in the energy, as long as you're taking something from something else, if you will. So for example, like for me, I've a long time ago, I was diagnosed like a bipolar and I feel like everybody has some sense of bipolar in them. Like we all get like these ups and these downs. It's it's a part of life, right? It's just so hard when you're like constantly busy, constantly working um, in like a in the rat race type thing. Like you're working, then you're, you're you got to go do this. You got to go do this. You got to go do this and not taking time for yourself to to bring awareness and to be aware of the patterns be aware of how you actually feel what's authentic what emotions are authentic like some are artificial right like we're so programmed into certain situations that all of these emotions like some of them are so artificial right like it's like i get happy because i i get a message on my phone or whatever and text 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 on tinder and whatever it is right and that's almost like an artificial emotion right you like that artificial dopamine hit yeah it's a real like chemical hit in your brain but like it's it's artificial right like we want that the most genuine and authentic emotions that we can feel because there's so much more truth in it but we we don't even know that right we can't like the normal person that is so busy can't even maybe like fathom the reality of these authentic genuine emotions because they're so like different from artificial emotions or so like suppressed and so uh worn away with the emotions they are so they're not as like potent they're not as strong they're not as real right and wow that was a that was like a tangent type thing but but yeah so like we all get up and down right we all go through happy phases we all go through like sad depressing phases and I mean, sometimes like when you change your thoughts, your beliefs and realize these patterns, you can stay more in an optimized state of of like a, a, a higher a frequency almost, right? Like contentment. You can be happier with more situations or you can be content with the fact that you are sad, right? And you're aware that you're sad, but you, you're aware that that's not, that's not permanent because nothing's permanent in this world, right? Everything, everything changes. Seasons change. Colors change attitudes change mindsets change our bodies change food change like everything's changing right and it's as long as we are aware that everything is going to change this isn't permanent nothing's permanent and as long as you go with the flow like when i go to the to the creek to the river almost every day on my like nature walks i look at the river right as it flows down and i'm like shit like just looking, it's like, that's me. That's what I aspire to create in my physical, my energetic, my spiritual, my my mental mind, my capacity just to flow down like a river and anything that comes in the way, just, just bend around it, uh, flow around it like a spring going down, right? Like it's not going to go up. If it was going up, then that, that'd be the way it's going. But no, we flow, we go down with it, right? And just to like, what is it like? Is it necromancy? I don't know what it is. No, it, it, I don't know. But when you're like literally 
observing the water and be like, wow, this is abundance. This is like there's an abundance of water and it's just it flows and it's it's so peaceful it's so calming and listening to it like hit the rocks or listening to it just flowing down rapidly or slowly wherever you are like it it's like you got to embody that feeling of flowing with it and then the rock maybe that's anger maybe it's depression sadness but then maybe there's a duck that's riding on and it's just like coasting and that's the happiness that's the that's the certain moments of bliss or that's the excitement that's the passion that's the purpose we have in our life and it's all gonna be there right like it's ultimately gonna always lead to a a bigger body of water at the same time though right which is the consciousness this is all the emotions wrapped up in a, a freely expressed creation of expression whoa and like that's 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 what we need to to learn and to wrap our heads around that like there is so much more there's so much that we can flow with and just let it happen but that doesn't mean like not being like oh i'm gonna try and change i'm gonna create my own reality around certain things yes we just need to be consciously aware that we create most of what's in our life right like it's with our thoughts the patterns that are running subconsciously we have to bring them to the surface and with me like it's hard like it's fucking difficult right especially when you're so caught like people are so caught up running around doing these things it's like that's why i've taken the past year off from like working after my spiritual awakening like working like a real job and doing like stuff like that it's like i needed this uh this this time to go within and not just go within but this time to really see what's important to me really see what i value really see what i truly desire not just the the artificial desires like it's like i want to be famous i want to i want to do it so i can get money so i can it's like no it's like i want like like passion i want love i want purpose i want i want real fulfillment and success it's like and then i can enjoy the the financial abundance when it comes i can enjoy these certain aspects of having money and love and like sex and whatever it is right but i need that connection i need that that purity right and it's like we all need that that true soul essence like what our soul really wants and that's just allowing that surrendering but still taking certain actions when appropriate certain forward motions when needed so and when you you feel like called to do these certain things like for example for me filming a video you know or like going for a walk into nature it's always like moving and not just staying still but stillness there's nothing there's like a difference right stillness is is important but stagnant is um is it stunts growth in a way, right? Because you're not moving anywhere. And it's like, I was dealing with this for the longest time. Analysis paralysis, right? Like I'm analyzing every single thing in my life so that I'm not moving anywhere. I'm paralyzed. I'm not moving anywhere. It's like, oh, but if I get that job, then I'm not going to go get that, open that business eventually down the road. And then I'm not going to, but I need money. But then, oh, but then, uh, da, da, and then, the, oh, and then my cats want a food. And then, but, but my mom's going to get mad. Uh, uh, but, but, like all that shit. And it's like, this, like, this is how I feel, right? This is my experience. And that's the whole part. It's like, just trust, have faith that it will get better. Be grateful for that and take certain appropriate actions, take certain risks and realize that you have nothing to lose. And once you have nothing to lose, you have everything to gain. And that's where this shit's really at, right? Like being aware that this isn't permanent. I have so much more I can gain. I have so much good emotions I can feel. And just when I feel down, when I'm in that ebb state, when I'm in the the not so content, happy, positive vibration, that I will get there. It's something to, but accept, like accept that you're in the sad state, right? You need to feel that because if you suppress everything, right? It's like, oh, I'm not going to be sad right now. I'm not. This used to happen to me as a kid, right? Like my certain friends that I was surrounded with, they would pick on me and pick on me and pick on me, but I wouldn't say anything, but I'd feel it inside. It'd burn inside, right? And then once you like let it out, it's exploding. It's an explosion of like, oh, fuck. And you, you, you lash out in a certain way and like you you do sh- irrational shit that you regret, but it's like, shit, I I didn't want to talk. Like I'm so shy and that's why my like throat shock or that's why my I, I started suppressing saying things and not speaking my full truth, not standing up and being a people pleaser because everything kind of just 
like got suppressed, right? And then when you explode it, it manifests like depression, uh, anxiety, stress, fucking acne for all. Like I have acne. It's like, oh, well, that like it's your body is so fucking intelligent. It's telling you. It's literally telling you there's something wrong, right? And it's like it's good, yeah, to take a a uh, a medical approach, maybe not like super holistic, but be holistic at the same time, right? Be like, what's the root of causing this shit in my life? Why am I depressed? You know, it may feel like there's nothing to be depressed about in that moment, but it's like, well, then there's something hidden, right? Something's good, trying to fucking grab you from within your body and pull you down into the shadows and rock bottom and be like, yo, take a fucking look at this. But it's hard. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's hard to experience the darkness and that's where like shadow work that's hi phil that's where like shadow work that's where healing journaling walking in nature connecting meditation mindfulness all this shit comes into play like you become more aware of the patterns you become more aware of shit when i was that age i got hit or i i was i was abandoned i was neglected for certain periods like all these different watch out watch out (laughs) all these different emotions that you didn't feel and all these different experiences that you forgot about or you didn't remember that like they were as bad as they were they were as good as they were and you're like oh shit like maybe i should take a look at these certain things but it's hard it's not an overnight like success right it's not an overnight healing that's what i've been trying to get over like it's like it's gonna take time but it will get better it has to get better because i have that faith i have those good intentions i have good I come from a place of love. I come from the heart, right? Right, Phil? So, like, this is what I'm trying to say. Like, just just trust yourself. Go with the flow. Glow with the flow, as I like saying. Glow with the flow. Shine your fucking light. And don't worry about what other people are saying, right? Like, because people, if like, most of the time people aren't thinking about what you're doing. And if they do, ignore it. Oh, like, don't, like be so like take everything so personally and this is what i'm dealing with like i'm taking everything personally or it's like i'm thinking oh shit they're judging me because i'm walking this certain way oh shit they're uh they're uh, uh, no like even if they are why the fuck does it matter you know you're walking your journey with the most authenticity pureness uh clarity that you can in that moment in that present moment so you do you you know live how you want to live you see a squirrel walk go fucking pet it if it comes up to you know don't worry about what other people are thinking trust the process have faith that life will get better for you because you mean well you know we're doing right here we're we're coming from a place of love a place of of real purpose and real change right like it's like i want to change so much shit in this world but i have to change myself first i have to adapt to my own fucking soul i have to become my soul and my higher self and realize shit there is certain things that i can learn now that will help me tools that i can add to my belt that will help me help myself it'll help me help others it'll help me share certain messages it'll help me become the best me I've ever wanted to become and what I'm really designed, what I so want to feel. And it's not like I'm chasing some high. It's like I'm chasing or I'm I'm aware that it's possible to feel good, that it's possible to feel good for the most part of life, for the most part of your time. But it's also good to be aware that life has its ups and downs. And that's just that. That's just that, right? So, Wow. I put a lot of passion to that. Wow, that was a fucking straight through channel. But thank you, my guys. Thank you, my girls. Thank you, family, for watching this video. It is greatly appreciated. I'd love for you to comment something down below. I'd love to hear what your your thoughts are on this video. Hear anything you'd like to like share with me. I'd love to hear. If you want to give the video a thumbs up, that'd be freaking awesome. If you want to subscribe, woo, that's freaking amazing. And I'm sending you all peace, love, and happiness. Right, Phil? All right, family. We out of here. I'm going to cuddle with Phil and Stanley over there. Bye for now. Woo!